Hey everyone, another video for you guys. It's verbal reasoning today, and we're going to look at a question type that we call move one letter. Let's take a look. In this question type, it's our job to move one letter from the first word and place it somewhere into the second. So in this example, we have the word stick and the word do. So it's our job to look at stick and decide which letter we can take out and it still leaves a word that makes sense. And we also have to be able to put that letter into do and that needs to create a word that makes sense. So we have a strategy that gets us the answer every time here and we just have to be as systematic as possible. So look at the first word stick and start to take one letter out at a time. So for stick, if I take out the S, what am I left with? Am I left with a word? Yes, tick. So it could be S, okay? So we're getting ready to write S down on our sheet, but we must check that we can put S somewhere into do. Let's have a look. We can do sto, not a word. The so, not a word. And you'll notice I never change the order of the D and the O. They must stay in the same order, but the S can go somewhere in the middle or at the start or at the end. The last possibility is dos. That's not a word in English. So actually the answer is not S. That's a trick we can fall for. Just because we can take S out of the first word doesn't mean it's a correct answer because we have to be able to place it somewhere in the second word. Let's take another look at this question then. We've tried the first letter. Now let's try the second letter T. Can I take T out of stick? Well, yes, I can. It leaves the word sick. Okay, so it could be T, but let's not fall for the trap. Let's make sure it works by putting T into do. We can have TDO. Nope, not a word. We can have DTO. Absolutely not a word. And then a final check, D-O-T. Dot. Dot is a word. So we can stop there and we can put T as our answer. If we move T, we create the word sick by leaving that behind and making dot out of our new word. The answer is T. Right, so we have our strategy. Let's put it into action on another question. And now some of you may be whizzing ahead and already have an answer. Let's check to see if it's correct. So mints, let's take out the first letter and work systematically. Take out the M, I'm left with ints. Now that is a surname. You may have heard it as a name before, but it's not a common noun that we can use in the dictionary. So it can't be M, we cannot take M out. We don't even need to check if it goes into lap because we know it doesn't fit the first criteria. So cross out M, move on to the next one. I, well, hopefully you can tell straight away, I can't take that vowel out, else it will leave me with mts, and that's definitely not a word. How about N? Aha, I can take N out. So this is the first one I'm going to check because that leaves mice. So I'm going to see now, before I put my answer down, can I put N into lap? I don't think I can. Lap, nap, lamp, no, and lappen. You could write these down, but hopefully you get to the point where you can just do it in your head. And we know N cannot go into lap. So we cross that one out. Only two left now. C, can we take C out of mints? Yes, that leaves mine. Okay, good. Now, can we put C into lap to create a new word? Yes, we can. Don't forget. That C can go at the start. It doesn't have to go in the middle of the word. It makes the word clap. So we can take out the C and leave mine. We can put the C into lap and make clap. We have our answer and hopefully we're getting quicker as well. On to the final example and hopefully by now we're super accurate and we're building up that pace. So I'm going to do this one as quickly as possible. I, can I take the I out of irate? Yes, it leaves rate. Good. Can I put the I into clam anywhere? I clam, kilam, clam, aha. Be wary. I can, but it changes the sound. The A in clam becomes A with the I. So just watch out when you move the letters, the sounds can change. That's another way they can try and trick you. But I've got the answer straight away. It's the first letter, it's the I. I rate goes to rate, clam goes to claim. Two words, that makes sense. On the road, I've moved one letter and I've got the answer. Right, so we have an example on the screen now for you to have a go at. You've got the strategy. Can you take a letter out of the first word and it leaves a word that makes sense? Can you put that same letter into the second word to create a new word that makes sense? And just watch out for those tricky sound changes, especially when you're moving those vowels. Let us know in the comments if you've got an answer and we'll get back to you to see if you were correct. Thank you everyone for watching and we really hope that this technique helps you to solve these questions quickly and accurately. If you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, please do give it a like and subscribe to our channel because there are plenty more videos on their way.